Hi there. Well, when we left off, I had just finished uh, preparing our appetizer, uh, which was the uh, mashed fava bean toast. It was labor intensive, but absolutely so delicious with garlic and crushed red pepper and fresh rosemary. Well, thanks to Melissa's produce, uh, we're now ready to do the entree and side dish. And what I've decided to do is I've got a couple of pork chops, uh, nice big thick pork chops. And what I'm going to do is take some of uh, Melissa's cooked quinoa. This is so easy. It comes in a roll. It's already cooked. All you have to do is slice it, put it in a pan, and you're good to go. And I've got some of Melissa's steamed lentils. And what I'm going to do is take the lentils. I've got some of Melissa's dried mushrooms. I took three different dried mushrooms, the mushroom medley, the porcini, and the chanterelle mushrooms, and I've been soaking these for about half an hour in room temperature water. So we'll be draining these in a little while, but we're going to save the liquid because that's just going to be packed with that good mushroom flavor. What I thought I would do with that is uh, combine it with the lentils. Uh, I'm going to chop up the mushrooms and, and kind of make that into a sauce that I'll drizzle over the quinoa, and then uh, of course we'll uh, serve that as a side with the pork chops. And uh, we'll make things colorful. I've got a nice big uh, orange bell pepper. I've got a, a beautiful Anaheim chili here. Uh, we've got some shallots from Melissa's. Uh, I've got a little bit of fresh ginger and garlic, uh, a little balsamic vinegar, and some Sassy Mama's mustard. Uh, this one is uh, called the Sassy Shamrock. It was made to honor St. Patrick's Day. So uh, we'll use the, these two on the pork chop along with a couple other uh, little seasonings and a dry rub. And uh, let's get started, shall we? All right, gonna do a little prep work here. I've got some fresh ginger, so we're just gonna take some of the skin off it. And uh, ginger is so pungent and so uh, flavorful, aromatic, that uh, I'm really not gonna need a whole lot. And boy, the aromas are really coming out right now. So let's do that. Should be plenty. And I've got my microplane right here. Make life easy. And we'll just grate a little bit of this. And uh, this is gonna be perfect. Just, just the right amount for what I need, which isn't much, because it's so flavorful and uh, so aromatic. So, um, I've just finished preparing a little uh, sauce that I'm going to brush onto the pork chops before I cook them. This is basically, it's a little bit of soy sauce, it's minced garlic, it's uh, minced ginger, there's a little bit of Ras Al Hanout, which is one of my favorite seasonings, there's a little bit of cumin, there's Sassy Mama's Sassy Shamrock Mustard, uh, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and <laughs> I'm telling you, this tastes pretty good. So we're going to brush it on the pork chops right now. I need to give a, a big thanks to my friend Denise Chamberlain, who is a culinary arts student, and uh, we had a little Zoom chat, and I gave her a list of all the ingredients I have, and she came up with some very good ideas, including uh, a method with the potatoes called Hasselback. So these are the Dutch yellow potatoes from Melissa's, and you can see I'm just making little cuts in them like this, not all the way through. And what we'll do then is just put a little bit of uh, Jane's Crazy Mixed Up Salt and a little bit of olive oil and uh, put them in the oven along with the pork chops. Already I've got the pork chops and the uh, Melissa's Dutch Yellow Potatoes on the roasting pan and we're going to stick them into the convection oven and do a broil on these. So I've got that at maximum heat and we're just going to let it cook away. So I got six packages of Melissa's dried mushrooms and I've used three of them in this. The mushroom medley, the porcini, and the chanterelle mushrooms. And what I did was I put them in a glass of water and let them soak a room temperature water for 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I've saved the broth, which is right here. And this is gonna be, uh, that's just packed with mushroom flavor. And again, everything I've been working with smells so good. So let's give a little chop on these. I'm not gonna really mince them, but just get them so they're so they're chopped up. And this is gonna get combined with the uh, steamed lentils and some of that mushroom juice. And uh, it's gonna go, uh, it should be a not thick, 
kind of in-between thick and thin uh, sauce that I'll pour over the uh, cooked quinoa from Melissa's produce. I think it's all gonna taste very good, but we'll find out. Just a, a coarse chop on the onion. I've already got the uh, chopped shallots <coughs> in the pan on the stove. So we'll add this, then I'm gonna put the lentils in. And I'll add the mushrooms and the mushroom broth a little bit later. And again, I'm winging all of this. I don't know how it's gonna work, but we're gonna find out. I love quinoa, it's a, a very healthy grain. I think it's really tasty. It's got an earthy flavor to it. And so this, of course, is Melissa's. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna make some relatively thin slices of it. It's very dense. It's, um, that's really about as thick as I want it. Here we go. And this is gonna be my side dish along with the uh, small Dutch yellow potatoes. And what I'm going to do with these is pan fry them and then I'm going to pour the uh, mushroom and lentil uh, medley that I made and uh, we have been sampling it and oh, oh, oh my is it good. Alrighty, here we are. We have the uh, pork chop. One of them is already on the cutting board. And these are the Hasselback potatoes and they actually came out pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. Isn't that pretty? I like that. So I have a very hot pan here. We'll get the other pork chop on here. You just never know when you do something like this, not being a professional chef, how it's gonna actually, you know, you have a concept in your mind and you don't know if the, if the concept is gonna work. And uh, in this case, I'm, I'm pretty happy and I think what I had envisioned is actually what we're going to I'm, I'm pleased with, with the early results. So I took some quinoa patties, you saw me slice them, and I put them in a frying pan. And at the very end, I uh, poured the remainder of the mushroom broth on top. And then I'm gonna take the, this tastes so good. Been sampling as, as we've been going along. What this is, is uh, the dried mushrooms, three different dried mushrooms from Melissa's, steamed lentils, some sauteed shallots and onions, and uh, that mushroom broth that came from, from soaking the mushrooms. And so I thought that would be good just right on top of the quinoa. I'll get another little dollop there. And just to pretty it up a little bit, I did a very light saute on some orange bell peppers and some Anaheim chilies. I just wanted to get brighten it up a little bit, put a little color, and I think all these flavors are going to work very nicely with each other. Look at the color. <laughs> 